Hey everybody, it's Tamika and I am here with a new swap for the month of September. So happy Labor Day to everyone. I hope you're having a nice and relaxing Labor Day. Um, so I am taking this opportunity to post this swap. Now WordPress decided to take a holiday as well. The site, the site has crashed, the servers are down, something's happening over there. I can't even log in um, myself. So. All of the information will temporarily be down in the description box. And if you don't see it in the description box, there'll be a link to the website. That means the servers decided to come back to work and I have posted all of the information on scraptheworld.com. So we're gonna do the swap, this swap that I haven't done in a year and a half and I absolutely love it. Um, it's the Swapper's Delight Happy Mail Swap, round two. So if you haven't seen round one, I'll put the link down below to the intro so you guys can like get a detailed because this video won't be as detailed as that one um but you get a detailed information um and information about what i was looking for in the happy mail swap and then also you can just follow it along to see the reveals to see what everyone else created for that swap everything was fantabulous so um great ideas if, especially if you're currently sending happy mail this is a great swap for you to join and or watch so the round two version is adding a pennant. Um, so I'll show you that in a second. Let me show you my samples. Well, before we get into this, you must have current within the last six months, crafty videos uploaded on your channel. You must live or have a United States address and you must not have been flaked or late in the last swap. So uh, if you follow all of those, then please leave a comment down below. There will be groups of five, so you'll have to make and send four. And there are two things, shabby and clean and simple, so that when you get your happy mail, if you join a swap and you are you know, participating in the swap, you'll get like items that you already craft with. So uh, please, when you leave a comment, let me know if you wanna join a shabby group or a clean and simple group. So uh, make sure to keep that in mind. And again, groups of five, so you'll have to just make four and you'll have to number them. So uh, when you're a design or when you're designed, when you're assigned a group, you are the number that you appear in your group. So if there's a group of five and your number falls to number three, your swap must be labeled with threes all over um, with the number. So um, every swap has to be pre-packaged individual swaps so all your individual swaps have to be pre-packaged where the recipient cannot see them because that's happy mail it's you want to open it up like oh it's happy mail and if they want to do one a day for the next five days open up little presents that's totally up to you uh, up to them if they want to open them up all at once totally up to them as well so but so the first requirement is you must create a piece of happy mail so um, all the requirements again will be in the description box um, but you know that all of your elements must fit inside a padded envelope you guys know if you've swapped with me before you kind of know the basic um, just the basic things but you have to create a piece of happy mail handmade of something that you create it could be whatever you want see the other video for some ideas too as well um, if you decide to purchase happy uh, if you decide to purchase um, things from the store your item must equal to five dollars so if you don't want to make anything but you want to participate in the swap which i'd rather you make something um then your item that you give for each person must at least equal five dollars store bought nothing nothing from the stash five dollars store bought so if you end up purchasing you know five of these one dollar items and put them in there that's your that's your happy mail because people do give gifts and happy mail and they do make handmade items so it's totally up to you um this is a way if you're making your handmade item this is a way for you to be creative with whatever you want there's no stipulations as far as okay make a teeny tiny embellishment two inches at this this and this so it, this gives you free reign to make whatever you want embellishment or pocket hole whatever you would like to make um you just have to make four of them so and you have to match it wrap it up individually in a secret packaging so all of mine i chose to just put in some prima havana paper and um you can also use tissue paper you can use doily wrap it up, whatever you want to do wrap it up so the recipient can't see it and label it so uh, if i was in the group and i was number one i would put number one on all of mine if i was number two so on and so forth so I've labeled all the mines, you know, I don't know where I am in the group, but all of mines have all the numbers, but this is what it would look like. All right, so the recipient opens it up and it's all these pretty little packages. 
So um, the thing that you have to do aside from packaging up a happy mail that you create and or buy, uh, you have to add a tag or a little pennant um, for the recipient to use. I like to do something where um, they have a little piece of you in their house. So when they get done opening up this wrap and let's say you bought all things from the dollar bin, they use all this there's nothing else left this may go in the trash there's no evidence that you were there mark your territory so I'd like to for you guys to add a like a little tag a decorative tag or a pennant or even um, this type of tag now this was created by Ida I believe and it's so gorgeous so she added this little tag and you have to have a hang element so the recipient can hang it somewhere in their craft room you don't have to have a sentiment on it you just want it to be a nicely decorated pennant or tag uh, for the recipient to have a piece of you this was in the last swap I can't remember who made this but this was so gorgeous so I decided to add it to one of my packages to show you guys what it would look like. So if I'm sending in a swap, all of mine would look like this if I'm number two. I'd make a pennant for everybody. All of my things would be packaged individually and I'd have a label on it. So that's just one example. Of course, all of yours want to have a pennant or a tag or uh, something like that on your package. So as an idea, um, again, you can use paper bag, you can use vellum, you can use wrapping paper tissue paper what have you just make it pretty and decorate it as if you were getting it so um, an example of some happy mail this is embellishments this is not something that I created this was in a previous swap but look how pretty that is wrapped up a set of four gorgeously decorated complete embellishments wrapped up in there and then you're good to go really really cute so this one so pretty um, I only put a dot of glue in here so I can reuse these these packages because this Prima Havana paper is gorgeous all right so if I was in number two or person number two let's just say I have glued this in there really good didn't I let's just say I'm giving um, I purchased some lace so I put decorated some lace in there I'm wrapping it around of course I want to spend five dollars on a handmade I mean a goodie that I've purchased so that would be in here along with my cute little tag it's cute little happy mail um, so another example would be if I was number four you guys I believe get the drift of this I've made some bows these are in a previous video um, decorated up real cute and wrapped it up in my number four of course I would have a pennant on there and my last one I just have die cut uh, the numbers on there on top of another tag die cut. This is also from another previous video. But these hearts, oh my gosh, I love these. These are, I just love looking at them. Heart dangle um, um, embellishments. So that would be, you know, that will go on here. So if you're getting happy mail, it makes you happy. The recipient, I know, loves sending it and seeing the reaction. So um, I hope you guys do join the swap. I know this is a short video, but if you want more of an explanation, I will link the video down to what, the one that I did a year and a half ago so you guys can get a better idea of what I'm talking about. But I'm hoping that you get it. So you have to um, make four, a set of four um, happy mails. You must wrap them up so that they are inconspicuous they're hiding decorate your packaging this is basic packaging I just wanted to show you guys an example but decorate it up make it look cute you guys already do that anyway so and then you want to label your package with whatever number you are uh, in the lineup and then um, last but not least you want to add a pennant or a tag that just reflects who you are so put who you are decorate something really pretty make sure you have a hanging element so the person can hang it maybe in their craft room or somewhere where they can know that that's you feel free to put your information on the back if you'd like it doesn't have to have a sentiment or anything on it and again if you're purchasing items from a store the item has to be five dollars per person so I hope you guys uh, will join remember to put shabby chic or clean and simple down below in the description box I will confirm your spot that means you're in but again, WordPress is acting funny, so the groups won't be up until that is done. But I will link the previous video down below, and hopefully you guys will get 
get that. If you have any questions, leave them down below. All right, I will talk to you soon, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye.